and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are going to talk about how we might switch bigger loads. Turning off and on, on and off of course, an output, this is no task anymore for us. We can do this, right? We can turn an output of the Arduino on or we can turn it off. However, we might have issues uh, when switching other things which need simply more power. I mean, it's obvious we cannot run a motor with this uh, or something which simply needs more power. Then the output of our Arduino is simply overwhelmed. It's simply overloaded. Okay. Therefore, we need to have a switching element which is capable of switching higher loads. Okay. There are several of those switching elements out there. Right now I'm going to tell you something about a so-called relay, yeah? how this is working. Yeah? So actually it works like this. The Arduino is switching a switching element, which does not need too much power to be switched. Yeah? And the switching element itself switches the power to our whatever we need. Yeah? This is a usual approach sometimes even with more steps. So the control system, in our case the Arduino, is switching something which is capable of switching something which is capable of switching really the power. You know, you can even turn on huge machines. Yeah, then the switches are the switches are even huge. Yeah. I'm talking really huge. Yeah? Then of course you cannot you need to be need to have a more step approach. And one very usual concept is the concept of, of relays. Yeah. Here I have you have one relay in your in your starter kit. You have this type of relay in your starter kit. Okay. However, this is closed, we cannot look inside. Yeah. So I also want to show you this one because we really can see what is going out going on inside. Here on this side, we have three contacts. Yeah? The three contacts are connected to those three connectors of the LED. Yeah? So there is one fixed contact, another fixed contact, left and right. And in the middle, we have a contact which can be changed from this contact to this contact. Okay? So we can either switch right now, it is at the right contact. Okay, right now it is at this contact. Those two contacts are now connected to each other. These, those are closed. Those two contacts, they are not connected to each other. Those are open. Yeah? And we do have here another set of contacts here, two connectors. And these two connectors, they are connecting this spool here. Okay? And if we apply here at the spool uh, voltage, current will run. This current in the spool will produce a magnetic field. This magnetic field is now this, this magnetic part here. This is attracted by... <laughs> attracted. Yeah, this will simply stick to the magnet, which is built up here. Yeah? There is also a spring inside. Uh, and this will operate these little levers here. And these little levers will push this to the other side. So whenever we apply here voltage, the magnetic field will switch the contacts. And they will then connect. These two will then be connected. And these two will be open. Yeah? So the middle contact is either connected to if there is no voltage, like now, to the right contact or to the left contact. So it's changing. The contact is changing. Yeah? This is the normally closed contact here, yeah? or Öffner in German, normally closed, because if there is no voltage, that's, they call it normal, yeah? then this is closed. And this is the normally open contact, or Schließer in German. Yeah? And if there is voltage, then this will be closed. Okay? But normally, if there's no voltage, this is open. So normally open, normally closed contacts. This is how a relay is working. And of course, 
this particular relay here is working here. The spool voltage is 20 volt DC, so it's much too high for our Arduino. We have only 5 volt DC output, yeah? but this is 24 volt DC. And here those contacts can switch 16 amps yeah? at 230 volt DC, uh, AC. 230 volt AC. Yeah? 16 amps. Usually it is written somewhere. Here you can read, is this still in the picture? Yeah, and I'm not sure if you're able to read. 16 amps, 250 volts AC. Yeah? And here at the top you can read 24 volt DC spool voltage. Uh, those informations we can also find here. Uh, we can also find here. Here we have read, we read uh, 5 volt DC. This is the spool voltage. So this is fitting to our Arduino. Uh, and we can switch 10 amps at 250 volt AC, yeah? so not 16 like here, but 10 amps, 250 volt AC, yeah? 10 amps at 125 volt AC, also 10 amps seems to be the maximum, 30 volt DC is allowed, or 28 volt DC also. Yeah? So this is the switching. So without a Arduino, we can only switch you know, maybe 20 milliamps. Yeah? It can be, it can more, but this is the specs. Yeah? And here we can switch 10 amps, 10 ampere. This is good, right? Here the connections are obvious in this case. Yeah? Here we have, it's not that obvious. Yeah? However, I can show you how those are connected. Okay. If you look at the bottom, yeah? You have these, these connections. There is a middle connection, there is one, two, and there is this. In between here, there is the spool. Okay? So this is the magnetic part. This is, and on this side, this would be these two connectors at the spools. Okay? This is where the spool is, and this here is where the connector is which is changing between these two. I'm not sure now what is normally open and normally closed. However, we could find out by using here my measurement device. I will turn it on. I will also turn on the Pipsy. Yeah. See if those two are connected. Yes, yeah. so it's ex exactly like this. Yeah. So I can write bottom view. Okay. Here we have the middle position. This is the normally closed contact. This is the normally open contact. And this is the spools, the spool contact. Okay. This is how this relay is working. Yeah. One thing is to mention, this does not fit perfectly in our breadboard. You have to bend this middle connector a little bit, but then it's... Wor let's call it working. Yeah. Not good, but it's working. This is a relay, okay? Uh, we already read here. 24 volt DC. 24 volt DC is a very usual voltage. Yeah? Very usual voltage. And sometimes the output of our Arduino is even overloaded by the control of an of a, of an relay. Yeah? So we need to have something in between. Yeah? And often those switching elements are semiconductor switching elements, which are Transistors. This is a transistor. Yeah. Typical transistor has three legs. And how a transistor is working and how we can use it as a switch, yeah, we can discuss in next video. Yeah. So next video we're talking about 
transistor as a switch. Not in detail, just as a switch, as switching element to adapt a little bit the switching power of our Arduino. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.